So the final that's been so long awaited by England, not so New Zealand of course, who won remarkably though that sequence of tournaments, Dubai, George, Wellington, USA, Hong Kong at the start of this season. They're back in the final again, ever final since he took over from Mike Friday in the middle of last season. Here come the two teams, England for New Zealand, well very much rebuilding for them, but they've been on challenge really this season, the outstanding Tomasi Thama, but the inspirational leader, without doubt the player of the series, DJ Forbes, with new players Kendrick Lynn and David Smith. There's the England lineup, and Andy Vilk, captaincy finally rewarded. New Zealand won in the pool here yesterday. Should be a thriller, 10 minutes each way, and uh, it's New Zealand to kick off. So, Tomasi Sama from Manawatu. Father was, of course, a great Fijian seven star. But the man who is at the heart of this has brought this New Zealand side together this season with a remarkable run. Two wins of the tournaments back in the last season here and in the London five this season and a big breakthrough and it's New Zealand who are going to open the scoring and it's the man who stepped up to replace Edwin Coker this is Solomon King obviously well rehearsed move there on the, the set piece penalty got the strength to pick whoever that is the key isn't it the man is uh, being the mastermind oh, behind New Zealand rugby I think, I think there's a slip there yeah Gordon Teachens is run New Zealand seven. Oh, Welcome Sama. Ray Kambula. Then Kendrick Lynn. Entirely new, the Southland player this season, first tournament was London. Oh, and the tackle is slipped and away. And it's under the post for David Smith in his first <laughs> tournament. The Samoan born from Auckland who He's just qualified by residence to represent New Zealand and, uh, well, he's revelling in it. It's crucial now that England use go to Ben Gollings, who has played so experienced in the squad, and Andy Vilk, to let the, the younger players in the squad realise you know, there is an extra three minutes each half, and the game's not lost, so just stick in there, don't start panicking. Just a slip of a tackle there, missed miss tackle, unfortunately. Yeah, it's extraordinary. You wouldn't think he'd get out of that sandwich between uh, Jack Adams and Ben. But David Smith has... Uh, had his uh, big run he's off for the moment as Jack Adams tries to set things up for England need a score before the half break nice ball Ben Gollings Jack lovely Adams. floated ball Gollings offloads oh. but into the hands of uh, New Zealand again Thama Thama wide to Kendrick Lynn and he's quick there's a support play big hand off big try oh. and Chad Doro well no wonder there are smiles because that is a brilliant score. It is indeed. This is where it breaks down. There's the offload, but it was speculative. It wasn't to uh, an England player on hand. And then Tuoro, Thama, Kendrick Lynn. Then the support. Always the support, New Zealand. And then all the tackle. Adams has taken a knock. And Jack Adams of uh, the Gloucester Club. Young England side. It's been uh, moulded together with good play. Quite a lot of turnover. Uche Aduza. Oh, he's got away. He's got away this time. Crucial that score. was crucial, crucial for England. Score. Right on the stroke of half time. Uche Aduza with his fourth try of this tournament. And the 21 year old from Worcester, who's uh, been in the England's 21 squad, has got what England desperately needed. It was absolutely imperative England scored before the break. And they did here. The timing was brilliant. Well held up by Kevin Barrett. Drew three men in. You know I saw Around the outside. Do not push. Thank you. Under the post. Hopefully guaranteed seven points. Back on. Thank you. Well, thank Still in this you contest. Six. Twelve points in it. I'm sure on tenterhooks all over the world, notably in New Zealand, who've been live with us all this weekend. Yes. South African super sport. The South Sea Islands, they take it all as well. Of course, here in the UK, along with many others. Meant to go to Gollings, picked up well though. Tom Young's battling on, almost stepping out. Oh, the flip past the Gollings, nearly went backwards. went backwards. It's still on. This is Ollie Phillips. 
Oli Phillips tries and did he score it consultation try given great try heartens England hopes again now it's New Zealand who will uh, feel the pressure feel the heat that for a moment looked as though it had gone great terrific work here there, great work out the button, work here the hand. yes great work by Young then the big follow up by Phillips New Zealand winding down the clock in, the side. in at the side penalty against New Zealand England want to be up that other end with Tom Biggs now that's a rock. Stay, stay. committing New Zealand but New Zealand have three standing up on the short side big tackle on Ollie Phillips this could be the decisive moment the race to the line and Nigel Hunt is the man to seal it for New Zealand as he's done so many times in the past the old hand the wily operator quick a brilliant scrum half but used by Gordon Teachens as a, a stand in wing three quarter and well with his 65th try his first of this tournament he has made it secure for New Zealand pretty much without doubt been on the field only been on the field a minute probably his first hit of the ball scores a decisive try I think now if you look at the clock oh there is no time on the there clock. is no time it's all over and it's uh, the trophy to be presented by Bill Nolan vice chairman of the IRB to DJ Forbes fabulous trophy how well earned never better won than with six series and six tournament trials once again for the eighth time in nine years.